The Balearic island of Menorca is often overshadowed by its big brother, Majorca. But rather than suffering the same fate of over-commercialization, it has managed to retain its age-old traditions and authentic ways of life. I will be travelling through Menorca, starting in the glamorous capital city of Maon, where I will learn about the lasting British influence on the island. I'll then travel to the rugged and historical interior, where I'll get to see firsthand how Menorca's traditional farming methods are still being kept alive. And discover ruins and stories of ancient civilizations. It's terrifying. And finally, I'll end my journey in the historic city of Ciutadella, an architectural wonder. It feels like I've gone back in time with world class cuisine and unspoilt beaches. I can't wait to just jump into this ocean. Follow me on my journey through Menorca as I uncover what makes it the true hidden gem of the Balearic Islands. Part of my journey across Menorca has brought me to the island's historic town of Ciutadella. This was the former Roman capital of Menorca before the British occupation moved it to the port city of Maon. The town of Ciutadella has a very different feel to that of Maon. It's a lot older and there are a lot of historical buildings and Gothic architecture and it just has a more old and grand feel to it. about Ciutadella, just like admiring all of the buildings around me and the colour of the buildings. They're like a kind of peachy, rosy, terracotta hue and then the contrast with um, the kind of the dark green shutters. It just has such a Mediterranean vibe. There's something very rustic about it. I love the way that at around 6pm I feel like the town starts stirring and, and restaurant owners and cafe owners, bar owners, they start putting out tables and chairs and you know you get all the people, tourists and locals alike and everyone just sits outside, has an aperitivo. As the sun sets, like it's just, everything's very golden and very glowy. One of the most impressive sites in Ciutadella has to be the Gothic Cathedral of Santa Maria, which dominates the main plaza. First built in the 13th century on orders of King Alfonso III after conquering Menorca, it's a stunning bit of architecture. So just walking around the old town and then hearing the sound of the bells, it just feels like I've gone back in time. And then there are just so many amazing buildings, they're so old. It looks like some of them are like crumbling, but gives it a very romantic and charming feel. So these shops sell all the typical Menorcan produce. So there's so many things on sale. So obviously you've got the cheese, which is very famous of Menorca, and then You've got a lot of uh, the meat as well, the salami and the sausage. Yeah. So that looks really very tasty. Right. We've got a lot of olive oil. I think I might buy an olive oil to take back because um, they produce a lot of olive oil here in Menorca and you know, just tasting it this week, it's absolutely incredible. It's got a very kind of like spicy taste to it and I really like it. So it's actually like quite a good gift as well. Esto es paleta ibérica, es muy rico. Es como jamón. Es jamón, pero de la, la parte más buena. De la parte más buena. Esa. ¿De cuál parte? Es la paleta. La parte, es la paleta. Está, la parte está de aquí. Del cerdo. Luego sería la pata. La pata. La pata. Ah. Es la, una isla que no es muy alta, uh -huh. que es, es, es bajita. Uh -huh. Entonces, el, el, cuando hay temporal, el salitre del mar, el yodo, se pone en el pasto. Oh, wow. 
Que tiene como mucho sal, pero me encanta. Sí, pero no, pero no tiene sal. Es la que, es la que ya viene de, de, del yodo del mar. Buen apetito. Muchas gracias. Hola. He's just explaining to me a little bit about the local produce of Menorca and what we've got here. Just explaining to me actually something about the cheese, which I didn't know. And he's saying that because Menorca is um, obviously it's surrounded by ocean and salty water and it's low down, low altitude. So that water seeps into the soils and the cows, when they uh, roam around and they eat pasture, they are kind of eating that um, that soil and that grass, which has already got the, the salt from the sea. I'm going to try a piece now, can't resist. Mm. Wow. It's got a real saltiness to it. And I didn't know why, but actually that does make sense. And then we've got the local ham, or here it's called jamón, and he's saying that it, this is the best, um, you know, the best quality ham because it's from the shoulder of the pig. So he's saying it's very, very tasty. I've been really impressed with the white wines here in Menorca, the local white wines. They're absolutely delicious. Um, and this one in particular is my favorite. It's the one that I'm drinking now. It's called Merluzzo. Um, made here locally in Menorca and I think I might buy a bottle and try and cram it into my suitcase and take home because I'd love to drink this at home. The packaging is actually quite fun. It's, I think it's little sardines sitting around a table with hats and sunglasses. That's quite fun isn't it? Definitely a fun white wine. I definitely recommend coming to one of these shops. There are so many around Sutadella and you can try the local products. Mm. That's incredible. Orchata, which is a typical Spanish drink and it's cold almond milk but sweetened and it's so delicious, very natural tasting, very refreshing because it's so hot right now. I just love relaxing in plazas like this, it's such a Spanish thing to do and just admire the beautiful architecture in front of me. I'd heard that the northern coastline of Menorca is home to some of the island's most beautiful beaches, more rugged and wild than their southern counterparts, so I decided to visit an unspoilt gem not far from Ciutadella. So I've just come to this beach in the north of Menorca and it's called Laval Beach. There aren't any facilities at the beach that's so very unspoiled and it's a lot less touristy than other beaches in Menorca. But there's so much natural beauty and just surrounded by these incredible like terracotta, clay-coloured cliffs. It's an incredible backdrop and I can't wait to just jump into this ocean. I can't get over the colour of the water. It's just like so turquoise. that there is a hidden cove just around the corner from the main beach which requires a bit of climbing but it's even more secluded and spectacular. So I've just climbed to the top of this cliff and the view is amazing. The water looks even more stunning, even more turquoise so I'm going to figure out how to get down there because I just really want to get in the water. It's so transparent. I've never seen water this clear before. It's like a huge swimming pool. It's hard to believe that it's only 20 minutes from Ciutadella and you're literally in paradise. Sadly, my time here in Menorca has come to an end, but I've truly enjoyed exploring this island. 
from the sophisticated port capital of Maon with its glamorous Georgian townhouses and incredible natural harbour through to the historical rugged terrain of the Menorcan countryside and its traditional towns and finally the historical Roman capital of Ciutadella with its architectural splendour and wild unspoilt beaches. Menorca is a true Mediterranean gem and I'm sure that I'll be back here soon.